Translating a project with déjà vu. Once your project is created, it displays like this. On the main part of the screen are the segments to be translated. On the left, in the source language, English, and on the right, you can type in your translation. To the right of the screen, first is the Project Explorer, with your project and all the files you imported. In brackets, the total number of words, and in parentheses, the percentage of work completed. On the bottom right hand corner is the auto search window. It displays all of the elements from your databases. In red from your translation memory with the translation and also who translated it, when, for which client, the project, the subject and the percentage of fuzzy matches. and in blue the terms from your terminology database. Let's translate the first segment. As soon as I start typing, Déjà Vu uses the auto-write function. It suggests existing translations from my databases. I can validate my translation by pressing Ctrl plus down arrow. When I do this, Déjà vu signals something with a red exclamation mark. It is a warning that means that the number 2 was not found in the target. When translating, Déjà vu checks your numbers automatically. I can now translate the next segment. Again, I validate with Control down arrow in order to mark my segment as finished, symbolized with a tick. As soon as I mark my segment as finished, the translated segment is automatically sent to the translation memory to be reused when needed. Déjà vu pre-translates the following segment. You can see this as it is marked in dark green. Instead of translating your segments one by one, you can pre-translate your file. Déjà vu will then populate your target segments with the available translations. 100% or exact matches are marked in dark green. Fuzzy matches are marked in light green. You can easily view why a segment is in light green. Thanks to the assembly function, this sentence with TTX is properly translated. You can edit the fuzzy match by simply typing in the missing term or removing the wrong translation. When you are satisfied with the translation, keep on validating with control down arrow. If you want to clear a translation, you can delete it with control space. When you type in your translation, the auto-write function makes suggestions, which sometimes goes faster than editing existing fuzzy matches. A new feature of DVX2 is the use of machine translation. If you click on Translation, Translate with Google Translate, you can ask Google Translate to pre-translate your sentence. You can then edit your translation and update all your segments. Now that all your segments are translated, you can export your project into the original source file format. With the right click, Export Translated File, Déjà Vu will recreate your translated file. Select where you want to save your translated file. Déjà Vu has created a new directory with the language name and has saved your translated file in it. Your translation is done and you can deliver it to your client. Find more e-learning modules on www.atril.com.